Hi everyone, this is Better Creating. Today, I wanna to show you how to create even better custom app icons on your iPhone. 14.3 iOS has meant, with a couple of hacks, that I've worked out how to remove as well the shortcut notifications that pop up. In this video, I'm gonna take you through the process of simply adding icons using shortcuts, how to suppress this annoying little pop-up that comes up when you're using the shortcuts so that it is a clean connection from icon to app. And finally, if you want to make your own icons, there's a really simple way to start playing with doing that. So it's a little creative way that I've found to minimize distraction, pull myself away from that social media, and also to make my phone look pretty cool. Let's do it. Hello, I'm Simon, welcome to Better Creating. If you've not been to the channel before, it's all about simplifying creative life. I make videos about creating content and living a creative life, simple living and productivity. Now, I'm a big fan of being productive and minimizing the distractions that prevent me from doing the important stuff. And actually spending like an hour designing my phone like this has meant that I find this is much less uh, distracting. It doesn't draw me into using social media. As you can see here on my phone, I've created this kind of minimal look. Now, you can buy packs of icons, and since iOS 14, we've been able to design our home screen. Um, and it has been for a while that we get this. When I click on Twitter, you get that little Twitter shortcuts notification. I've worked out a way, finally, to suppress that. So if you see on my Photos app, if I click on it, Nothing. And there are some of the app icons that I've been uh, kind of messing around with. First of all, let me show you how to install custom icons. You can buy packs, you can create your own, that's up to you. Mine are essentially a combination of my own created black and white ones and a pack that I bought off Etsy and just a plain black screensaver. There are loads of great ways to do this out there, but with all of them, you'll probably want to use this method to install them. You may know that in iOS 14, we now have this app library on the final page. So it means that you don't have to delete any of your apps, but they could all, this could be completely blank uh, and you could just search for the apps and just have the essential ones that I use regularly on the home screens. Now to do this, we're gonna have a little play with our app store logo here. So we're gonna go into shortcuts. I, mine's down here in the bar. This is the shortcuts thing here. Here we go. These are the other ones I've created. So we're gonna add a new shortcut. So you're gonna go up to the plus sign in the top right hand corner and click on plus. Then we're going to click um, add an action. You want to click on scripting and then you want to click open app. You then want to choose your app where it says choose there in the middle. And I'm going to pick it. This one is here, app store. Now, rather than clicking next, I want to click on those three little dots and name the shortcut. And I'm just going to name it what the app is. Then I want to add to home screen. Now this is where you add a replacement shortcut. It says new shortcut. You can say whatever you want, but I'm just gonna leave it blank for mine. And I'm gonna click on the little image next to that writing and click choose photo. Now I can pick the image. Uh, so if you've downloaded them, they're in your, your photos, you can find the one you want. There it is. Click on app store, choose that, and then add it. Click done. And we should now see on the page, there it is, down the bottom. So I now just want to get rid of my app store. So I can hold my finger on app store, remove app, and just remove it from the home screen. Don't delete it. Put that where it was, and there you go. So that does seem like a lot of steps, but trust me, once you get quick at this, it's just, you can just whisk through it because you know you repeat something, you know how to do it. So yes, that is the way to do it. However, when I click on app store, that little pop-up turns up. Let's look at how we turn off notifications for our shortcuts. So I want to go into settings and under settings, you have obviously notifications, but this isn't actually where they uh, keep the, short, the notifications for shortcuts as it's hidden away by Apple. You actually need to go into screen time, see all activity there under my daily average. Then down here, uh, you go right down to the bottom and you'll see notifications. Click show more. Now you'll see I don't have shortcuts there. So I'm going to swipe back previous days until I see a shortcut that's been used. And there it is, you can see it's popped up. Now if it isn't popping up at all, you should just turn on some simple automation like play a podcast in five, at five minutes time. Make sure that, that is that plays through, you'll get a notification if your phone is off. 
and then you'll know that you'll have had a notification from Shortcuts and you'll be able to access this. So that might be a thing that if you're not using Shortcuts. So anyway, we're gonna click on Shortcuts and here are all the notifications. I just wanna turn off notifications, I don't want any of them. I'm gonna go back and I go back home. So that's done. However, I would think on one I haven't done, we still get the pop-up. So that's at least suppressing the big shortcut um, notifications you'll get, but it's not gonna suppress those little ones uh, when you just open an app, for example. So this is how we do that. So you're gonna go into shortcut. Next to my shortcuts is automations, okay? Now what happens is if I set up an automation to do something when I open the app, something really small that just doesn't have any impact on your life ever, um, it will suppress the other shortcut. Let's do it for the App Store. I'm gonna add an automation from that um, little plus sign in the top corner, create a personal automation. If you might just see this straight away if you haven't got any. I'm gonna go down and you're gonna click there on app. So it says, for example, when weather is opened. That's what we want. Leave it as it is, so when an app is opened, you're gonna choose the app. Now we want to, we're doing the App Store on this go, so we're gonna click that, done. Go to next, add action, and then you need to add something that it will trigger whenever that app is opened. So that might be to add a number in calculator. So if you just go to settings, there's a couple of things that you could do. Anything that's like a, a kind of accessibility thing that isn't gonna impact anything. So I'm gonna click set zoom and I'm gonna turn zoom off. So every time I open an app in the background, it will just go turn zoom off, click next. And finally, where it says ask before running, you need to make sure that you, it doesn't ask before running. So we're gonna do that. Click done. There we go. So it's made. I'm gonna go out of that app. You might just want to shut the apps that you were using. Um, I'm just gonna shut all of them in case, just to make sure it's gonna happen. Now let's click on App Store. No pop-up, how about that? Here's a quick example of how to make your own app icons. Now let's say that um, you are downloading, you've downloaded a pack of um, images um, to add in, but it doesn't quite have the one that you want. Uh, let's say I wanted to add this one here, which is Filmic Pro. Filmic Pro, uh, it wasn't on the um, collection of images, so I want to create my own. Well, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go into Safari. I'm going to search for Filmic Pro, and I'm going to go to Images, okay? And look, there's the logo. I'm going to hold my finger on the image and add to Photos. We're then going to go into Photos, click on the new image, and edit it. Now, of course, if you want to get really clever, you can do things like replacing colour, things like Lightroom, um, Affinity Photo, those kind of applications uh, would allow you to do a lot of cool stuff. Check out my video on um, iPad apps for creators, which would give you a couple of ideas of places to go to do that. So I'm gonna click down here on the little um, uh, crop button down right, and I'm just gonna crop this. I'm gonna click on the um, little squares top right and go to square. For mine for black and white, I'm gonna go to looks and go right along to the end to noir. And then I'm going to go and think about anything that would help this go more black and white. And I have a nice black and white image. Done. Look at that. If you found this valuable, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. It goes a long way to help this reach other people so that it might help them too. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. It just means my videos pop up in your feed. More of this kind of stuff around productivity, creative life, simple living. Uh, but whatever happens, get outside, get off your phone, get some fresh air, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.